I could have easily purchased two RICs with built-in CWID beacons in them. The last price quote I got was 250 US dollars, which meant since I needed two, I would have spent 500 US dollars. Nothing wrong with that, but the problem is if I decided to abolish my GMRS repeaters, I have two of them, I would have been stuck with two RICs, spent 500 US dollars only to have them sitting on my shelf doing nothing. And that's a terrible way for me to spend 500 US dollars. I decided to go this route. I purchased, took possession in custody of two refurbished Lenovo ThinkPads from Amazon. They have a nine zero day warranty. I don't need anything fancy. I just need these two laptops to do one thing. Send CW code to the handheld transceivers that's connected to them. That's all they do. So every 10 minutes, these two laptops send CW ID code to the transceivers that are connected to them. And every 10 minutes, those two handheld transceivers connected to the laptops transmit the CW ID code to their respective GMRS repeaters, in this case, number four and number three. And every 10 minutes, GMRS repeaters number four and number three transmit the CW ID code to the outside world and any operators using GMRS repeater number four or GMRS repeater number three will receive the CW ID code in their transceivers. This is a perfect setup for me because if I ever decided to abolish my two uh, repeaters, I could immediately repurpose these two laptops as well as the transceivers to do other functions. And for me, that's money better spent than having a product sit on my shelf doing nothing. So let me show you the way this stuff works. I put MDC codes, Mike Delta Charlie codes, on both my repeaters. That's the tail end squawk that you hear. If you have the appropriate transceiver, you will see the repeater's ID number pop up on your screen. Here are some pictures of my penthouse with the antennas that I put up in order for my repeaters and my other transceivers to receive and transmit signals.